What is up fellow game developers, my name is Tyler Potts and in today's video we're going to be continuing our top down 2D RPG game, specifically adding player environment collision like this. As you can see there's now these white squares going or this these white walls going around our player so if we move around you can see if we try to go left you see we're going to hit this wall and not be able to go through it we're going to do the same with the top and if we try to collide with both and obviously if we go and hit the right side too you will see we will collide here so without further ado guys let's just get right into the video Okay guys, so to create player collision, the first thing we need is another sprite to actually be able to collide with. So to do that, we're going to go in our little project section here under sprites and I'm just going to right click and click create sprite and I'm going to choose a square for this. I'm just going to hit enter and now we have a square. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drag this square into the environment. I'm just going to drop it right here. This sprite renderer, I'm just going to set it to be minus 9.5 uh 0 0.5 and then let's just give it a y actually let's give it 0 and then a y of 8 nope 10 so once we've positioned our wall we're going to then give it a component now the component we're going to use is a box collider 2d so if i click this it's going to add a box collider around our element you can might not be able to see that um, but if I zoom in you see there is a subtle green line it's very hard to see it might just be my screen we also need to make sure our player has a or its collider on we've also used a circle collider for this as you can see you can see the circle collider now we can make this slightly smaller and I think it's worth doing so instead of 0 0.4 let's do 0 0.45 so it's just slightly within the boundaries because um, I think that makes it a lot better now if we click off this and we zoom out, we should now be able to collide with our environment. So as you can see, moving around, if we hit this wall, you can see we now hit the wall and we can't go past it. Um, let's try and add it in a couple more walls just to test. So let's just let's create a new empty and call this environment. And let's drag this, let's rename this wall and just drag this into there. Now let's duplicate this. So we've got a wall one. Let's set this uh, position to zero minus nine point four. Oh, sorry, nine point five. Wait, which one is that? Is that? Oh, sorry, because environment is off slightly. Everything is off. There we go. Now we need to reposition this to minus nine point five and zero and zero. Um, let's go to wall. Let's set that to zero. So that's a left wall. Let's create a top wall, and we'll start off by just going in here. We're going to swap the y back to one, but the x to ten. We're going to set the X to 0, oh, sorry, this needs to be a lot bigger, let's say 20, there you go, and the Y to 5.5, there you go, and that's now at the top. Now these all have uh, box colliders, and we're going to be starting off in this room here, obviously we'll start, the only path down way is down now. So let's save this, let's hit the play button. And hopefully we should be able to collide with each every one of these walls. Now you can't see the top wall there, I've pulled it slightly out of screen. Well, don't worry, you'll be able to see it obviously once we're able to move around a bit better. Um, let's hit this left wall, we can hit the left wall. Let's try and hit this right wall. And there you go. Let's go into the top corner and bam, perfect. So that is now we're able to collide with each one of these okay guys so this is going to mark the end of the video in the next tutorial we're going to add in enemies that will chase the player around the environment obviously hit him attack him um we'll do the attacking and the hitting in a separate video but for this one we're going to just chase him around and get him to follow him so we're going to add a cluster of enemies in different areas which will all have radiuses and once the player gets in that radius they'll start running towards him to attack him so anyway guys, thank you all for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. If you want to see more, don't forget to punch that big red subscribe button right in its face. And if you have any questions or feedback, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Until next time, peace out.